Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Star Trek Neutral Play Survival Chaos. We are playing as the trolls against the demons, Lordaeron, and the Pandaren. So let's quickly check what we get. And that is actually going to be 10 item merchant again. We've had a lot of this recently, but uh, you know what? A little item merchant game. I know I do apologize. It's not everyone's favorite, but I hope you guys enjoy the game nonetheless. So... Let's quickly check out the sides. There's a gold mine there. No gold mine here. So we've got to keep an eye over here. Hopefully it's not up against the demons. And it is. That's fine. So, but what we're probably going to be doing is going straight tier 2 mid. Then straight to tier 2. Um, but the basic voodoo is so, 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 so good. So I think we'll actually be going basic voodoo. Because that'll help us on both sides here. And in the middle, it, it helps everywhere. And then maybe tier 2 middle? No, but tier 2 barracks to make more money. Yeah, there's just a lot of options here. Yeah, because they're going to be pushing in to us like it's nobody's business. Which is kind of what the demons do. They're very, very good at it. Um, how, how do we do against the Pandaren, actually? Martial Artist, Jade Serpent Master. Okay, so that's a Tier 1 replacement. So he will be pushing into us as well. So there's a lot of stuff that we got to be careful with here. Yeah, all right. Any upgrades that I should be aware of? None as of yet. How about over here? None either. All right, all right. So at the very least, the units are going to be a little bit easier to handle. I might be tempted to go with basic brass spearheads or spiked barricades at the beginning. Just so hopefully we'll be able to... I mean, we're going to need some base defense because, I mean, with the heals, we might actually be able to beat back the demons here. Three, two... Yeah, because we're actually in a better environment. Yeah, it's, okay, so we're actually going to be able to hold the demons... We're not going to be able to hold them. The Jape Serpent Masters have 600 health. We've got 525. So, yeah, I think we will be going Tier 2, especially since the humans have gone Tier 2 in the middle. And we want to make sure that we set up our good, good push here with our hero. Probably um, Rokan. The Nuker, I don't think, is ever a bad, bad one to have a couple items early with. So the good news is we will be making enough money to not only get the tier 2 here, but also enough to spend maybe for a unit. Because this isn't a huge push. But it, it, it will be enough that we do have to kind of be careful here. We'll have to spend maybe 50, maybe 100 um, gold to properly defend. 1, 0... And then with the turrets, we should be okay. We'll, s we'll have to see, because they do have a second wave coming in. But it looks like he has picked the random... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's picked the infernal bonus. And the infernal bonus is actually coming to kind of save us here. Because there should be another wave of... Yep, right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this will actually allow us to kind of build a bit of a ranged defense here. Ooh, a nice little tier one. Okay, I'll, t I'll, I'll take some uh, mana usage on our enemy. It is irritating that they take so much reduced damage, though, but that's okay. Hopefully, he'll be going over to this side. Nope, into us. But that means we do have the benefits of having the towers help us out just a little bit here and excellent because these are melee units he's focusing on the melee units great nice and easy taken care of and we will be going straight to tier two i think 
Yeah, because that Chaos Spire is still level 1. And once again, if we're able to be the first people to get a hero out here, then that is really, really going to be helping our just kind of general <coughs> economy. So here we are. We won't be pushing out against the Pandaren anytime soon, but that's something I'm okay with. There it is. Yeah, and they've got a nice little push coming into us. That's totally, totally fine. Yeah, because once again, we're just able to nuke down his front line. And then once again, once we hit a thousand, then we'll finally be able to really kind of start playing the game here. Yeah, especially since the humans, it looks like, are very, very comfortable in how well they're pushing into us. Just make sure they do minus 15% damage. Ooh, that was close. Great, and he's not pushing into us. That's actually super, super important. And then Shadow Hunter, Fork Lightning, Charge Blade. Inspiration Aura. I don't want to push out of the middle. I think we get I think we get R Rokon. I think that's the move. Ooh, and they're getting help from a infernal. Sadly, the name Peace of the Tribe was already taken. We need more gold. And here, unfortunately, we are going to have to spend a lot of money to defend against this. want their entire backline to relax for a little bit. Okay, great. Now, now we're able to handle this a little more normally. Oh, he's gone tier two. Okay, so he really kind of snuck in there. All right. Barracks taken a lot of damage. Three, two, one, zero. Once again, we'll get them all to relax for a bit. Thank God he didn't have more unit damage going because that might have been enough to kill me. Great, so now we'll do this. Now we'll repair. Rokan's already level 5 with Claws of Attack. We like to see that. We very, very much like to see that. Let's get some more armor on our boys. Oh, actually straight into Rugged Gauntlets. Very, very good for us. And now that we will be pushing them out, let's let's spend a little time getting some uh, upgrades here. Okay, so he's pushing into us with a Tier 2, so we're going to have to unfortunately save up. But... Already the fact that we got that uh, bonus is very, very nice. I mean, that research done. Yeah, so we're just going to have to sit back, hang out for a little bit until we've got our Tier 2 available for us. Which shouldn't take too, too long. A 
and because he was he pushed into us so hard we'll be we'll be able to handle this little push without much much concern i think we'll do this grab up all of his melee units Ah, we just missed it. That's a heartbreaker. We are feeding them a fair amount, but we need this defense. Okay, awesome. Now we can get some more damage going. And this is certainly not the start we dream of, but I don't think it's a start that, you know, puts us too, too far behind. Also be picking that up. Yeah, because we are in firm, firm command of the middle. Which is never a bad thing to be. They're three and one. We can catch up to that. Great. So we've got three of these lined up, and we also can't forget this little area. But getting, I think, getting the barricades is really going to be helpful for us. Good, 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 good. And we're pushing slightly out of the middle, but not quite. All right, and there's an Infernal, which is kind of bad news. Oh no, that's that would actually be great if Rokan goes back and starts focusing that down. Let's also make sure we pick up the Voodoo Ward Bearer. Let's also get Feral Roar going. And then the next pickup will probably be advanced brass, I mean, improved brass armor. Good, 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 good. And Frocon could get another item, maybe two. I think that's, it, it was an investment well worth doing. And our buildings are, you know, they're not in great shape, but they also didn't get completely destroyed. So let's make sure that we keep improving the barricades. And then I think the next upgrades I'm really going to be focusing on are these improved brass spearheads, just to make sure that we have the base defense on lock, because we are going to be probably getting pushed here pretty hard. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a tier two. Because this is kind of a scary push to be dealing with right now. Okay, so Rage Pyre. That's a good hero for us to send into. There's the tier one. So we got a little bit of mana off. Our heals are keeping us in relatively good shape. How are we doing over here? Ooh, that was a nice, good chunk on them. That research is also coming in, so let's grab the Troll Regeneration. I want to stay around a 1,000, just so we can make sure that we can send out a hero whenever we need. Okay, good. The amount of healing that's going in is delicious. Okay, so we're getting more armor. That's good. Let's get some more brass spearheads. Ooh, what'd you get? Oh, ring of regeneration. I'm okay with that. So far, really solid items for our Rokan, which is very ever 
very rarely, if ever, a bad thing. You know, it's certainly better to get good items than bad items on your heroes. So let's just make sure we keep these, uh, these repairs correct and kind of, like, maximized. We essentially just want to be using it on cooldown so we can get as much as we possibly can out of our barracks. Now we're actually starting to climb a little bit ahead. Certainly further than I anticipated us going. So let's get some voodoo going. Let's get some supreme brass arrowheads. Just so the second rage pyre shows up, we're able to give him a good troll welcome. Okay, so they completely wiped us out. That's fine. Want to make sure his frontline units are disabled so they don't get any cheeky hits in on our barracks. Yeah, and then Rage Pyre should just be completely demolished at this point. Just focus everything on Rage Pyre. And what do we get? Gloves of Haste. Very, very nice. Now let's make sure they're attacking other stuff, which is exactly what they're doing. I don't waste my magic we'll repair that. Two, one, zero. Excellent spawn. And might actually be enough to hold. I would be very okay if it was enough to hold. A uh, little bit of a misplay on my end there, but that's okay. Rokan unfortunately just went down. That's okay. Two, one, zero. Here comes our new spawn with our new flying units. Ooh, and actually we pulled a little bit from the middle. And how are they looking in terms? Three and three. Okay. Let's just make sure we're better in terms of upgrades than most of our enemies. How are things looking in the middle? Okay, so Antonidas is coming down. That's fine. And he's tier 3. Also okay. A Vol'jin also got the fancy gloves. Plus 5% attack rate and 15 damage. Very, very nice. He's 5 and 2. We're 4 and 3. I'll take that trade. Six, five, oop, my mouse, my mouse has stopped working, okay. So let's hope that changes soon, there it is, Whew. got me a little bit stressed. Okay, good, here comes Antonidas, here comes their full force. Okay, good. Our AoE's coming in. There's a little switch. Great. All wonderfully wiped out. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Is he tier 3 into me? Let's check. Okay, no. Still just tier 2. So I'll pop this. Upgrade repair. I would like to get some advanced spikes sometime soon. Because we're going to have to prepare for the pushbacks here. 
There it is. Oh, okay. So he also knows some little redirections going on. So once again, we'll sit around until we get about a thousand. And then from there, we'll be able to just continue because, you know, unfortunately, Vol'jin is just going to get brutalized here. Hopefully, we'll be able to take this. And hopefully, he doesn't leave. <laughs> as much as I love people leaving and then having their entire base taken from me. Alright, so now we're sitting at a thousand. Unfortunately, those infernals are gonna be a bit of a pain. Okay, great, we just picked it up. And he took it all from me, that's okay. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna... I'm actually very happy we've got the tank hero out. Because he should pull a lot of aggro on himself. And that's not, I mean, it's taking certainly more damage than I would like. But now the fortress can handle that. The Tychondrius is going to be going down pretty, pretty hard here. Ooh, the Dalaran Sorceresses. So that was his bonus. Okay, now we know. Okay, so Uther's coming in. Alright. Oh, Dalen's coming in against level 17 Rokon. I don't think... I don't know if that's going to work out for you, my friend. But here we'll send Vol'jin down this lane and he'll do his thing. Yeah, we'll be able to pick this up. We'll repair that. Okay. Okay, yeah, because Dalen just went down. Very fine by me. And this is going to be a nice, relatively easy spawn to handle. Two, one, zero... Great. Awesome. So, now I think we'll probably want to pick this up, just to get some extra HP regen. Let's get some more armor. Yeah, unfortunately these infernals are really kind of harshing up my vibe. But the good news is we are really starting to outclass the demons in terms of unit power, which is very, very nice and very, very helpful for us. Our sacred grove is, being Our sacred grove is fine, my dear. Don't worry. So we are now four and five for ranged. That's good. Burzin, got gloves of haste, boots of agility. We'll see how it goes. No need to sell until we are running out of spots. Let's get some spots. Thorium spearheads. Two, one, zero. We'll repair. 
or Zin is down, that's okay, because it looks like Rokon might be falling relatively soon as well. Unfortunately, a very rough timing thing for Morkaiser. Then... I don't really want a tier two, but if we're able to, I'm also not against it. I mean, tier three. Excellent. So it looks like he'll be dealing with that, and we have Brawler. Very nice. Mage, Scepter, Gem of Health. Um, are we going to have enough time to get a thousand gold is the question. The answer to that question, I think, is unfortunately no. An allied champion has fallen. Before we go tier three. Who dares wins? Let's go. Let's -a go! Alright, very unfortunate that Antonitis is coming into the middle, but that's something that we're just gonna have to deal with. It's more unfortunate that they're gonna have to deal with Rokan, because Rokan is a big boy, and he, he level 20. He's ready to do some serious damage. And luckily, with our HP regen, we should be kind of like mitigating a lot of the AoE damage that they're kind of able to pull off. Fortunately, they're getting an amazing spawn against us. So I'm going to let them come in just a little bit closer. Just wanted that so they would all just chill out for a second. Let's get the improved voodoo, and then we can immediately go into forked lightning, which would be really awesome. Okay, while it is irritating the sheer amount of infernals there are right now, I think because we've got Rokan, we should be just fine. Let's get some more troll regen. Okay, good. Now let's focus on that infernal. It's already hit repair because there's no point in not hitting repair. So it looks like he might have tier two'd. Rokan level 21 with another fancy... Well, no, someone else had fancy gloves. That wasn't just Rokan. All right, so here they come. Poor things. It's just the two of them. I would still rather just them come in before we start pushing in. All right, good, 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 good. Here comes a lot more of a party. Two, one. If we can kill or at least start hitting these this back line, that would be really nice. That's exactly what we're doing. An advanced voodoo. Come on, baby, just let me get my advanced voodoo. Ba -da 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 -da. All right. There it is. This is good. This is good. This is good. Desecrated seems like a bit of an intense word for what's happening. We're being attacked, but like. Desecrated seems. That seems overly dramatic for me.
Good, and we're really starting to hit him hard enough that a lot of his buildings are starting to look really rough. Okay, I'll spire level two. Very good to know. Vulgin still just going to town. Because if possible, I think it'd be pretty cool to, uh... Oh, well, Dalen's coming out that way. Rokon, are you almost dead? No, you're too strong. All right, good, 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 good. Wow, we actually took him out. That's huge. Oh, that was really, really good. Okay. So that means the second Tychondrius shows up, we'll be able to throw out some more friends. Ah, we're not. We're having a hard time breaking through to get to Antonidas. So let's send another hero down that way. Oh no! You know, I probably should have seen that coming. But with all this happening, I'm also going to be. Cause he's still tier two. Awesome. Let's get some more armor. Uh, Urzin, you're not going to need the intelligence, buddy, or the agility. So, 150 for mantle of intelligence and boots of agility. We're six and four, we're six and five. And we're starting to get our AoEs out. We love to see it. Um, let's get that going. We should be good here. Two, one, zero. Boop. Here we go. Spike already level three with the mental of intelligence. We're going to be getting rid of that. Get a little extra econ because of it. All right, good, 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 good. I'd also love to follow this up with a tier four barracks here. So we're pushing that out. We're doing a little bit of damage and he does not have much mana at all. Okay, so that's very good to know. Awesome. Now, uh, probably some more basic Arcanite Blades would be pretty nice. So he does, he could, does potentially have um, Gush in the tank, but that's okay. Well, luckily, they showed up. Ooh, and there's actually a lot of them, so Antonidas, good luck. Two and four, what are they looking like? 
four, and five. Okay, so we're actually doing really, really well in terms of the unit upgrades here. But you didn't want to go... Yes. No, yes. No. Hmm? Spike is doing a little dancey dance. But we got through it. All right. <laughs> Good lord. Um, more Feral Roar, I think, might be a move. Yeah. Because that also means we can then pick up some more basic Arcanite Blades. Hmm. Or we're probably going to have to save up in a pretty big way here. Okay, Spike has more attack and all that good stuff than Kazak. Hopefully we'll be able to build a bit of a backline to help us take out Kazak. He's already tier 2 so we can't do it again. And it looks like we are pulling ahead of Kazak here in terms of pure damage, which is awesome. Oh, if we could kill him, that would be so good. If we could kill Kazak... We bust this wide open. And we do. That's insane. Okay, so Uther's coming down there. That's okay. Got a lot of gold. I'd like to spend it. Let's pick that up. Okay, Antonidas is looking good, but I think we're looking better. We can la let our building take damage. That's why we upgraded that so much. Yeah, Rokon is just going to absolute town on him. Uh, Shadow Hunter. Good, 150 for the Belt of Strength. 150 for Boots of Agility, good. And here I think we're gonna... I don't think we need to double tap. Because I would still like a hero available to deal with that nonsense down there. Okay, so we, we're gonna have about a thousand extra gold. Let's spend it on Arcanite Armor. Because is our catapults showing up? Yes. Okay, so that is a tier four down there. Here we go. And they are pushing in Magtheridon. We'll keep on repairing, keeping up all the good stuff here. Might have to tier two that. Yeah, because I'm not worried about that nearly as much. You're researching something. Research that. Oh, we should really be researching more voodoo. researching this isn't but do I want to try here yeah I might as well we'll just pop it because there's just a lot happening here 
Maybe he's lost his fortress. Okay. So the demons are gone. Got to send him down. Mm, this was potentially a bad move. I tunneled visioned very hard. Focus on Uther, please. Thank you. Okay, so the good news is nothing is going to be taking too much damage here. Good, good, good. Then we'll be able to go tier four. Don't know if he means GG. Oh yeah, cause he has no mana. That's right. Yeah, so we're just gonna start chewing through his defenses here. Because he bought two heroes, I don't think he's got enough for Gush, but we're going to be prepping for that. And good, we're able to focus down Uther. How's this looking? Sobe Mask Assassin on the special unit is horrifying. Yeah, we're just going to start pouring in here. Yeah, and his units, unfortunately, is still a little bit... I mean, we're ahead of him in terms of unit upgrades. So I think that's certainly been helpful. Oh, wow. He's actually decided to go after... send out a little team of heroes here as well. Research complete. Two, one, zero. Death comes in three flies. Someone call for the doctor. Yeah, because unfortunately, poor Vulgin does not stand a chance here. Lost his right barracks, and that is going to be GG well laid, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. I'm glad I was able to bring you guys a win this time around. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, hit that dislike button. Tell me what I can do better now in the comments. And if there's any games you guys want me to watch, let me know. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.